situations on the on the point there late uh, and on the assist uh, on the game tying goal. Uh, we'll just start off on the team side. Just just overall thoughts, kind of on, on the game and how you felt like you guys played this evening. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think uh, coming coming out here to Colorado, it's a tough place to play. Um, it's always a, a tough venue to show up and, and get a result. So happy that we were able to get something out of it in the end there. Um, I think they had a, we had a tough time playing today. They're a very direct team, um, and they like to just kind of play over the top and, and make it a battle. Uh, I thought we showed up and did a good job with that, with competing and uh, matching that on them on that level. Um, Obviously, just couldn't, we couldn't get much going and, and much in the attack, but defensively, I thought we worked much better as a group today and did a decent job trying to trying to pick them off and find our moments. Um, unfortunately, just once again a, a corner set piece, uh, second phase of it kind of kind of let us down. But um, I think it's something to build on moving into these last few games here. Is that uh, we were together today and, and played as a group. Hey guys, a valid question. Quick, quick, raise your hand. I'll get you in. And Memo kind of alluded to the same thing about building off of this. Uh, it's obviously been kind of a tough run the last few weeks. How important was it psychologically for you guys to, to get that goal late and then walk out of here with a point tonight? Yeah, I mean, of course, we, we came here wanting to get three points. We know where we're at in the season right now. And uh, even though it's a tough place to come play, that, that was our goal. So uh, I mean, overall, disappointed in, in that sense. But the way the game ended up unfolding and, and how it goes, I think it's a big thing that we that we fought back. and. Uh, even when we conceded early in the second half, we, we still went at it and tried to push the game um, and got something out of it. So I, I think as a mentality, that can help us moving forward because um, we have to we have to go for it these last few games. Yeah, I see a question coming here from Victor Ariza from the striker. Go ahead, Victor. Hey, Jim, just wondering if you can um, sort of take us through that goal at the end. Obviously, you're getting the assist. Uh, just how did that come about? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know what minute it was, uh, but at some point, with, especially with the red card for them, uh, we're down 1-0. I, I, when we had clear possession of the ball in the back, I decided to try to get in the attack and join in. We were, we were serving in balls, so uh, I wanted to be able to be in there and help out. So I, I went forward. Uh, Darwin did a good job of driving and, and finding me in a little pocket of space. Uh, tried, to, tried to get Fafa in behind, got kind of lucky with a bounce back to me. Um, was going to take a shot, actually, but saw a little bit of space and Seba calling for it on my left. So I uh, just laid it off, and he hit a great shot, and uh, happy to get out with that point there. What's the, uh, you know, the feeling around the club right, or, or inside the locker room right now? Obviously, you guys were in for three points, but you know, to take something out of this game, um, put an end to the losing streak, um, is, it, is it a little bit of celebration relief? Yeah, I mean, it's somewhere probably in between there. Um, like I said, we, we know where we're at and what we need to do to, to get ourselves where we want to be this year. Uh, it's going to be tough. So getting us out of the little funk we were in and, and getting some sort of result, I think, is, is a good first little step here. Um, and then especially uh, against a team that we're competing with and a place like this where it's extremely difficult to come get any results. So um, I think, like me and probably Memo said, it's, it's a positive mentality shift, uh, something we're going to try to build off of. And uh, I wouldn't say it's disappointment, but I wouldn't say we're celebrating over here. It's something we can just try to try to pick our heads and realize, pick our heads up and realize that uh, we can keep moving forward from this. 40 or so Dynamo fans, I think, tonight up there in Denver. Just wondering uh, if you guys were able to see them. Um, what does that mean to you guys to, to have that type of support uh, on the road and, and obviously this late in the season? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, we saw we saw the banner in the corner where they where they put them in the stadium. But there was a good group of, of orange out there. And uh, like I said, last game and the ones before, we, we truly appreciate all the support and we love when they travel with us. Uh, we need it in all these places and, and we try to work off of it. So um, once again, thank you guys very much. And, and we're going to keep fighting for uh, for all the supporters out here. So. Yeah, I mean, it's same same type of thing. It's it's once again a tough place to go to um, to get result, but I think that's what we were talking about here is is seeing that we can come in and do it here. 
Uh, even even when we didn't really play our best game today, but we matched them um, physically, we matched them with the mentality, and uh, I think that's something that we can definitely build on for for the next game. That if we go in and do that, and hopefully take care of a couple things on the ball a little better, um, we can we can get more than just a result there, and more than just a point. So um, I think that's what we're gonna take going forward this week. Another good week of training, uh, getting after it, and. Uh, Go to get as many points as we can. Thanks, Dan. Yep. All right, uh, Dan, I'm not seeing any other questions here, so we'll let you go with that. Thanks for taking a couple minutes. Take travels back here at Houston. Awesome. Thanks, guys.